Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, demonstration on MuleSoft and our integration platform. Uh, I'm Hari Shankar, I'm a Principal Solutions Engineer with MuleSoft. And really, uh, MuleSoft's mission is to enable organizations to change and innovate faster by making it really easy to connect their applications, data, and devices. And we do this uh, with uh, a single unified product called the AnyPoint platform. So today what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through uh, how this company called Northern Trail Outfitters, really a fictitious company, um, enabled and exposed uh, mobile user experiences uh, for their customers um, in a scenario, in a world where uh, you know, they had M&A pressures, uh, bringing different backend systems um, and uh, bringing all of those to drive those mobile experiences. So as you see here on the screen, uh, Northern Trail Outfitter is uh, your typical retailer. They sell outdoor uh, uh, you know, clothing, apparel, uh, different accessories. And uh, they just bought uh, Alpine Nutrition, uh, which is a healthy whole uh, nutrition company. right? And uh, the challenge here is Northern Trail Outfitters uses SAP as their ERP, uh, whereas Alpine Nutrition uses a, a different system, right? Uh, Comodex. Um, and uh, for this mobile initiative, they need to bring uh, um, inventory, product detail from both of these systems and drive that unified experience. So let's see how they do that. This is uh, the API-led connectivity approach uh, that Northern Trail Outfitters uh, embraced. And uh, as we see here at the bottom, uh, we have Northern Trail's SAP instance, but then they also brought in the Comodex, which is really a MySQL database behind the scenes and expose both of these as well as other backend systems as modern system APIs. What that enabled them to do is uh, firstly standardize their backend systems because now whoever is building those mobile experiences do not have to um, know that there is an SAP, know that there is a Comodex or a database, um, maybe a Salesforce, other systems all these users of these backend systems are interacting with are APIs, very modern, very easy to understand, and very easy to consume. Um, what they did after they exposed these backend systems is, as we see here, they built a process API for an order 360, let's say, right? These are domain process APIs. They also built customer domain APIs, product APIs, and so on. And then as they embarked on their journey to enable these mobile experiences, they then you know, created this customer 360, which now leverages the assets that they have already built out. Um, so as we see here, this approach enables a lot of reuse, a lot of standardization, and hence a lot of speed um, in the end. Now, once a customer 360 was exposed, uh, what Northern Trail Outfitters did uh, is uh, uh, support different end user experiences, right? So as we see here, you know, they were certainly able to support their mobile initiatives. Uh, they built a mobile experience API that called out to the customer 360 and then a, a few other process APIs, order fulfillment and maybe others to drive that mobile experience. Now, when a service cloud, sales cloud, commerce cloud initiative came, came about, all they needed to do was create an additional experience API that caters to those end user experiences. So as an approach, this API-led connectivity approach um, loosely couples your integration landscape, uh, drives a lot of reuse by enabling you to create uh, these reusable building blocks. Uh, and then as we enable different end user experiences, becomes really easy for you to reuse those backend processes and create these experience APIs that cater to different experiences. So now let's look at uh, the product and uh, see how MuleSoft and the AnyPoint platform enables this API-led connectivity approach. So I'm now logged into the AnyPoint platform as we see here. And within this dashboard, I have my design experience um, which then drives into my implementation um, and uh, yeah, unit testing debugging experience, right? Um, and then operationalization, you know, number of different options, but then certainly within Runtime Manager, you can uh, deploy these APIs on-prem in the cloud, any combination thereof. 
And then the whole monitoring, visualization, um, governance aspects are all built in and ac available, accessible from the single uh, pane of glass here. Exchange down here is that asset repository, that marketplace where uh, MuleSoft publishes a number of different assets based on best practices that we learned from our engagements with over 2,000 customers in the space. Um, as uh, an organization using MuleSoft and the AnyPoint platform, uh, you will also have your own private exchange where you can publish assets that are relevant to your organization and drive easy discoverability and reuse there. So let's uh, uh, go into exchange and look at uh, you know, some of the assets that are available there and uh, you know, see how the platform works. I'm going to jump into exchange. And uh, as we see here, we have a number of different assets here. Um, and I have two ca categories, well, a couple of categories here, right? So the, uh, the one down here provided by MuleSoft is a public exchange. And this is where we publish our, all our connectors, connectors to over 200 technologies um, that make it really easy for you to drag and drop and connect to an SAP or a MySQL in case of a Commodex or whatever backend system. So if you go into uh, one of these connectors, let, let's take the Salesforce connector. <clears throat> As we see here, very well documented, very easy to uh, self-service consume. But then also within this uh, connector asset, we uh, have a number of different examples, templates uh, published as well that use these connectors. And uh, if I go back here, just like the Salesforce connector, you know, a number of different connectors as we see here, those are SAP connector as well. Um, and uh, uh, the level of documentation and the consumability is uh, consistent across all our connectors. We also have a number of uh, templates published on Exchange. So uh, if I open up this category box, as you see here, you know, not just connectors, but templates, examples, API policies, uh, just a bunch of different assets that enable our customers to get up and running really, really quickly. So if you go into templates, a uh, bunch of templates here and uh, I can very easily search for, um, let's say, uh, templates that are uh, relevant to Salesforce connectivity. And here, here, here are uh, a number of templates and if I go into one of these, uh, this is the Salesforce to Salesforce account broadcast template, right? So uh, again, well documented, uh, screenshots that show exactly how the flows will work and uh, you can uh, import these flows into a development environment and use these as a starting point uh, for, for your development. So it drives a lot of speed, but then you uh, as an organization uh, building on top of any point platform, leverage, uh, get to leverage that knowledge base um, and drive your success. So if you go back into um, our asset catalog, let's go into the private exchange here and look at a few assets here that are relevant to Northern Trail Outfitters. So if I remove the filter, so as we see here, Northern Trail has built out a number of different APIs and published on exchange for self-service discovery and con consumption. I'm gonna search for an uh, order API uh, just to see what exists there, right? Because uh, I wanna consume uh, orders and uh, build my mobile app uh, on top of that orders API. And as we see here, we do have an asset that's al already been created um, this orders API uh, front ends a couple of orders APIs. So Northern Trail had their original SAP order API. Uh, however, when Comedex uh, came into the fold um, with Alpine Nutrition, they just created another Comedex system API. And then within this process orchestration API, process API, they just incorporated that additional uh, ERP, right? So uh, really easy for you to bring in systems, sunset systems as needed uh, without impacting uh, consumers that sit on, on top here. Uh, and uh, with all our assets, uh, these assets are very interactive as well. So you, you certainly have your documentation, but if I want to interact with uh, this API, let's say, and see how this works, what's the behavior, I can do that here through the mocking service that has been exposed. So uh, certainly mandatory parameters are all pointed out to you and uh, you know, validation is all built in, right? So you know, it requires an order ID and then if I go here, we need to just provide an authorization uh, client ID and uh, secret. And uh, uh, as we see here, we are able to interact with this API, this mocking API, mocking service, just like we would with the live API.
you know, makes it really easy for somebody who's looking to consume this Orders API to come in and see how this works, how this behaves, and then incorporate this, right? I can also, as a consumer of this API, I'm a mobile developer, let's say, uh, I can start uh, building my mobile applications just by using this uh, mocking service. Because this mocking service behaves exactly like the implementation work, right? And uh, we can drive parallel development in that fashion. Um, and whenever the service is ready, uh, all the mobile developer would do is uh, swap out the mocking service with the li live implementation and the mobile app should be ready to go. So a lot of uh, speed acceleration to parallel development driven by mocking service and these assets in action. So uh, that's the system API that we just saw here. Now, if you go back uh, to the asset list, let's uh, look at a few other APIs. I'm going to look for customer APIs here, and as, as we see here, we have a customer API published here. This is a process API that uh, calls out to multiple system APIs and creates that customer um, domain view. And uh, within here, as we see, you know, there is also a customer 360 that then calls out to the customer domain API, and uh, in this case, the order API, right? And creates that customer 360 that combines customers and, and their order information, which is then exposed to different experience APIs. So let's go back and look at an experience API here, and I'm gonna look for mobile experience APIs, and uh, we do have a mobile experience API, call the mobile customer API here. So this lives in the top layer, as we see here. And uh, if you look on the left, the uh, operations that are exposed on the experience API are very different from what we saw with system APIs, right? Uh, you know, we have search functionality, we have a product lookup, orders uh, functionality, and things like that, which is typically what you would expect from an experience API. And uh, as a mobile developer, if I want to consume this API and uh, leverage the customer data that's sitting in uh, you know, SAP and Formadex in this case, uh, all I do is request access right from here. And uh, I'm uh, asked to create an application. Uh, I, I do have an application here. And then I can choose which version of this API do, do I want access to. And uh, APIs are versioned. APIs are treated as first-class citizens within our platform. And uh, just like uh, any uh, first-class product, uh, you know, you, you, you can have your users on a N minus X version um, adoption cycle. And then you sunset versions and have your users uh, adopt a newer version and so on, upgrade their versions. So here I can pick, uh, you know, which version do I want uh, access to, and uh, you can set up different SLAs depending on what kind of uh, access and what kind of end users are requesting access. So you may have developers requesting access to a free tier uh, to build uh, applications in their dev environment, but you may have a premium tier SLA that will be consumed by your users in their production environments. So if I request access here, uh, you know, in this case, uh, access has been set up automatically. So uh, I'm immediately granted access, access and I have my client ID, client secret available here to start building my applications. You can also set up manual approval workflows within, uh, uh, within this process. So certainly for your production level access, you probably want an API administrator to go in and grant access after reviewing who's requesting access. And all of that is supported by the platform. And uh, now, as a mobile developer, I'm ready to leverage this API and build my mobile applications. So if I go here, uh, here is a mobile app that Northern Trail Outfitters has built and exposed. Um, and as we see here, they have their uh, SAP data, the, the apparel coming from you know, SAP, but then we also have the Alpine Nutrition um, products coming from Comedex, all surfaced. Uh, within this mobile app, completely transparent to the end user that these are coming from different backend systems. So uh, if I quickly refresh this, let's uh, log in and start shopping. And uh, so I want to add a jacket here to my cart. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I also want to add, uh, let's say, uh, a cranberry bar, because I like cranberry bars. And let's go ahead and check out and as we see here, my uh, payment method is all uh, set up and then uh, I can place an order. For the end user, um, as I mentioned earlier, all of this is transparent. 
the fact that you know different backend systems are in play, different uh, processes are in play, and everything is being driven by that top level mobile experience API. So that's how MuleSoft drives uh, uh, connected experiences. And uh, what we saw today, just to summarize, uh, we looked at how MuleSoft enables very easy connectivity with our out-of-the-box connectors, over 200 of those, uh, in, in, in our case, to an SAP and a Commodex a database. Uh, we then saw how, within a process API, MuleSoft enables creating those business processes, your business logic, and orchestrate different APIs. Uh, to support different initiatives, mobile uh, initiatives, uh, you know, uh, whatever your initiatives and projects are. And then within the experience API, we, we saw how AnyPoint platform enables driving different end user experiences through reuse, right? So mobile experiences, all you do is create a mobile experience API that leverages a, a customer 360 and an orders API. Uh, if you're driving web experiences, all you do is create a new experience API, and then you're good to go, ready to go there. Uh, so speed, uh, ease of connectivity um, is really what we do, and uh, um, really the best platform in the market uh, today to do that. Thank you.